Uh, hi everyone, I'm Alfred. Um, welcome to 300 Second Crap, a new show wherein I narrate awful Instagram life hack videos because it's quarantine and I've lost control of any normal semblance of day-to-day -day activity. And you know what? I just need to turn the awful things that I do to my brain into, into whatever this is. Um, I'm going to watch a Instagram life hack video and... I'm going to just commentate over it. Um, no video. Just, you'll have to take my word for it. And to be perfectly frank, I've already recorded this episode. Um, I did it with a different video, not this one, so I'll be a little fresher. Um, but my recording corrupted, so I'm back here again. Hey, happy times, right? All right. 35 DIY ideas you need in your life right now. DIY is short for do-it-yourself. Okay. There's an ad that looks absolutely demented. All right. Here's their crappy intro that shows a bunch of things of various scales being hammered or nailed or glued together. All right. Boiling water. They put a soap base in there. Those little cubes of colorless soap you get. And then they boiled it. And then they pour in soap dye and they stir it with a popsicle stick. And then lick the popsicle stick, right? No? Oh, Christ. I've seen this one. Yep, they just fill a hand, they fill a, they fill a glove with the soap. And they put an awful dumb little suction cup on the end like that's going to do anything. Hey, Jenna Marbles tested this one, fellas. It don't work. You can already see the hand kind of breaking apart. I don't think soap is supposed to move that way. All right. And then they just kind of suction cup it to the wall. And you can see it slipping and then cut. And you can see it slipping and cut again. All right. So they made a hand out of soap. I'm going to pause it here for a sec. Um, they made a hand out of soap, first of all. That was already reprehensible. And then uh, suction cup to the wall with a dinky little suction cup that probably, like, you need two of those to hold, like, a shower or speaker in, dude. That doesn't work. The whole thing doesn't work. All right. But anyway, this is the next one. A uh, woman is washing dishes, and then people keep putting dishes in it. Where do you get all these dishes, dude? And then she goes to throw the towel in, literally. All right. She's peeled the green part off of a sponge, and now she's cutting it into little slivers. And then she's cutting the corners off the sponge to make into a, oh, crops. Okay, so she's hot glued the green sponge things to her hand. No, to a glove that contains her hand. And then she's hot glued the sponge in there. That's still hot, you know. And then she's, uh, with these magic dish gloves, she's now just going absolutely nuts on these dishes. And she stacked them all up neatly. Dude, you poured hot glue over your hands. The fact that you had them in dinky little rubber gloves is not going to change anything at all. You are... This is bananas. <sighs> okay. Also, wouldn't the water dissolve it? Whatever. Anyway, some idiot has set down a cup with a very round bottom on a very narrow couch, the edge of a couch, as though it wasn't going to fall. Like, they had no idea. Idiot. And then it spilled and they said, oops. So now they're cutting a bunch of cutting boards. They have two cutting boards, by the way. Who in their right mind? Two identical ones, both made of wood. So they've cut it into little pieces and then they've put it on the edge of the couch. And now you can set your drink there without spilling it. You doofus. Someone's reading Charlotte Bronte and they're sweating. Why? Too hot? The thing asks. Yeah, it looks like it, dude. All right. So they've made a little, they've stapled their sheets together by the looks of it how do you make this and then they're just they're, there's a super strong fan blowing in there how did they make that okay a child is standing <gasps> okay it was a dummy <laughs> i got excited there something almost happened something cool almost happened a child was almost crushed to death by a shelf um so they had a they had a shelf and then there was a crash test dummy or a mannequin like 
as though it was a real child on there balanced precariously and then the shelf started tipping forward and I got really excited that I was going to see the death of a child on this YouTube. <laughs> or maybe I'm just covering for the fact that I was maybe worried for someone else's life. Hell no. Smart home improvement tips, it says. They're pounding a little dinky nail into some wood. Oh, and they've somehow got blood all over their hands. Okay, so they've put the nail into a comb and they're having the comb hold it so they can't bang their hands. Or you could also not try being, you know, don't be an idiot. That could also help. Okay, so they're bending a nail. Nails don't really bend that way, dude. Okay, and then they put the bent nail into a drill. And they're using it to twist wires together. Great. Now you'll never get them untwisted. Oh no, your wrench isn't the right size for this bolt. So put a coin in there. How many people use bolts in their day-to-day -day life? How many people is this life hack for? Not safe. A child climbing on your shelf? Hell no, it's not safe. Don't do that. Safety strap. And then strap it to the wall? <laughs> Okay, so they're drilling, a th they're drilling a little hole holder into the wall, and they put a little, like a little seat belt, into it, and then when it falls forward, it just holds. So now it'll just take a chunk out of the wall when it falls forward. Okay, so you put a match, a broken match, into uh, a screw hole, and then you can't screw it in all the way. I think was that the hack. I don't get it. All right. Some idiot has hung her paintings all wrong. She's putting toothpaste on the back of one of her paintings. I hate that I have to say that. And then she just kind of stuck it to the wall. And then the toothpaste is used as a guide. And then she wipes with the toothpaste. There are so many easier ways to do that. Why do you have to use toothpaste of all things? Why do you have to overcomplicate this? Also, using toothpaste means that you still have to get it right the first time. All right, so there's a screw hole in the wall, and they've kind of just used a... <sighs> there's an ad. I can talk over this. This is fine. Oh, that's nice. They're sea turtles. They're doing well for themselves. Oh, no, that one's caught in a net. There's a manta ray swimming in garbage. Oh, there's an oil-covered duck. I shouldn't have watched the ad, guys. Oh, this is sad. Anyway, they used a... Cigarette lighter to melt a crayon into the wax hole so it could, you know, cover up the screw hole in the wall. And uh, then it just kind of... Just... They just had it in there. And then they, like... They scraped away some of the burnt wax and then pretended like it was never there. I'm so unconvinced that that actually works. Also, it assumes that your walls are crayon white. I know way more people that have like an eggshell wall or they've got like a stucco. Just it's crayons. Cripes. All right. They're putting hot glue on a plate and then they hot glued a safety pin, giant safety pin to the plate. And then they hung it by a screw on the wall so you have those ugly plates hanging from your wall that boomers have in their homes. All right. So while hammering a nail into a wall, why they do that in the first place, they just took a m gigantic chunk out of the wall. They went all meal there on that wall. Now they're covering it with the stuff you're supposed to... Where's the hack here? What on earth do you mean life hack? This is how you fix holes in walls. And then you paint over it. Yeah. I've done this. I've literally fixed holes in my walls. And then they just hang a picture on it, I guess. Of their son in an ugly Halloween costume. Uh, they filled a plastic cup with water, partially. And then they lit it on fire. So the thing just kind of went half on fire. Um, and it burned down to where the water was and then it went out. And then they asked, how can we save plastic? How can we reuse plastic? How can we stop burning all of our plastic at home? Don't light it on fire if you want my opinion. All right. So they've got their LG brand washer. It's very important they get the brand product placement in there, I assume. And then they are going to pour in laundry detergent. And they've just 
dumped it everywhere. And then they have their Mad Hands. Okay. Then they've got a little Coca-Cola brand Coca-Cola bottle. Losk color. It's very obvious sometimes. There's a lot of... Okay. I'm now remembering... I'm pausing it again, by the way. I'm now remembering that only I saw the first episode because it got corrupted. So what you're seeing is now the actual second episode. So all the cliches that I discussed in the first episode have, not, have all vanished. They don't exist anymore. The data is unretrievable. But there's a lot of cliches in Five Minute Crafts videos. I mean, 300 Second Crap. We don't know who I'm watching. Um... One of them is that they're very obviously produced in a lot of European countries and then sold to Americans like, hey, Americans, you're trendy. You're on Instagram. Come take this stuff. I don't know why, but the brands of detergent and other things that are very unfamiliar to American people is one of the very obvious ones. I don't know why, like, they do this. I don't know why they don't just why they bother, like, translating their videos to English just to like move more units in America, but maybe it's how they have 50 million views on every video. Um, anyway, Lost Brand Color. They put a Coca-Cola bottle end around it. Yeah, they just kind of tucked it in there and then they used fire to melt the plastic to it. And then you screw the cap off the Coca-Cola bottle and then you can easily pour in your Losk Brand detergent. They still got some, they still spilled some. The whole idea of it was so that they wouldn't spill it. Okay, they're trying to put a broom up in the corner, but they haven't actually put it in the corner. They just kind of balanced it against a shelf. You could just put it in the corner, though. But it kept falling over. All right. They've got another detergent brand. They're cutting a, a bit out of the nozzle. They're just coating the back in hot glue. And they've stuck it to the wall. And then they shoved the broom handle in there. And now it'll stay there for all time i guess um here we see a human pig dumping a bunch of clothing in the corner of the laundry room why they just dumped their clothing on the floor so they've got one of those gigantic 20 billion gallon water jugs and they cut the top off and then they covered it in little duct tape squares so it looks like a trash can and then they brought the top back and they hot glued some string to it. What's the string there for? To make a handle? I guess. You could still grab it. But anyway, it's a it's a hilariously tiny thing to keep your dirty clothes in. So they're washing dishes. Sorry, I just had a brain fart. I was listening to... Uh, I was looking at my own audio mixing and seeing if this was even still recording. Oh, Lord. All right. Back into the life hack action. So they've cut the handle off of a detergent bottle, and then they used a hole puncher to punch a hole in it. And then they uh, wrap some string around some steel wool, and then they put it in the handle. And then they threaded it through the holes that they punched and tied it off. into an ugly little thing and then now they have a weird sort of scrubbing thing you can just buy those dude they're much it's just buy them there are things at a store that you can buy okay they've cut the entire bottom off of either a detergent bottle or a jug of milk um bad mistake to make but hey it beats watching five minute craft videos and they've used it as an ugly toothbrush holder and also a soap holder. And now, toothpaste and soap can mingle in the bottom in some incestuous slurry of bathroom substances. They've got a ceramic tile. They covered it in paint. And then they put a stencil on it and they painted over that. And then they put... a. Uh, five more of them on the floor in front of the door or at least nine more by the looks of it uh and now it's an ugly floor okay cool what was the recycling part okay they've got some blue glass bottles and they just wrapped them in a towel and beat them with mercilessly with a hammer and then they put a whole bunch of grout somewhere and then they just dunked all the glue in there and now they're putting some more grout on there 
so you won't cut your feet on the thousands of pieces of broken glass. And then, oh, I guess you're not even supposed to walk on it. They put it behind their sink so you can look at it. Because, no, don't walk on that, dude. All right, they've got six little tiles here. And they're taping them diagonally. And then they're crisscrossing that. They're spray painting over them. Great. Where are you going with this one, Chief? Let it dry. Five minutes, right? Are these crafts supposed to take five minutes? No? Well, that's crazy. That's called five-minute crafts. All right. Um, they picked up the tiles as though they were one piece, but they didn't actually show them being joined together. But now it's an ugly placemat for your candles while you eat dinner, I think. All right. So they put PVA glue on a tile. Are they going to do the... Yep. They put a little picture of a cat and a blanket on there. This is a classic high school art project where you use PVA glue to take an image off of something. I did it. It was okay. I used a picture of... Um, oh, Lord, I'm a fake fan. It's the robot from Fooly Cooly, though. It's not Adamisk. Conti. That's his name. Anyway. They've transferred this picture of an ugly kitten... Sorry, but all cats that aren't mine are ugly. It's just the way that it is. He's beautiful. And then they've made a crappy refrigerator magnet that looks like it has actually been put in the wash. Some idiot dropped her teacup. She did a hilariously oversized pratfall, a gigantic jumping leap trip, and she threw her, her teacup into the air. Now they're covering a plank of wood with tile adhesive. And then they put the broken piece of teacup. That was a different teacup. Was she carrying two? They, they put three broken teacups on there. How many teacups was she carrying? And then they put the other pieces of ceramic just in there. Squished into the tile adhesive with the flowery parts out. How many teacups had to die for this? Y'all. And then they cover it in grout. This is dumb. This one's dumb. Who needs this? Where's the hack here? Is it going to be a plant holder? Yep, it is. Hey, if you don't know, one of the other big five-minute craft like cliches is we always need things to put our plants in. There's so many. There's an ad here, so I'm going to talk through it. I'm going to skip. Um, I'll let you know, though. There's so many things that apparently people just got to have their plants. Anyway, I'm skipping this ad. Square metal pipe. Aren't pipes known for being circular? Drill a hole. They just kind of drilled a hole all the way through it and they dropped a screw in there. Somehow it's staying in there despite the fact that it doesn't have anything actually holding it in place. And then using a nut, a bolt, and a washer, they have put a bike chain on the end of it and threaded it through the pipe. And now it's a wrench, I guess? They show you unscrewing a bolt with it, but it doesn't really work well. Um, I don't know what happened there. A woman took a red shirt out of the dryer and then some other things. And now she's threading a, a string through what appears to be a bullet. She stopped most of the way there. She's threading on some more of these little beads. Maybe she's making the world's worst bolo tie. Oh, and she put socks in them, and then she cinched up the little the little beads. And then you throw those in there, and then they stay together. What's the hack here? Okay, someone's picking up a plate of noodles, and they're wiggling all over the place, and then they just throw it on the floor and shy away from it as though they've just committed a cardinal sin, which they have. Those are good noodles. Okay, now they're sewing some felt together, and they're kind of pointing at it. Sewing it together more. Nope, nope. Cut those parts off, actually. Yep, sew those together. Cut them off. And now you have an ugly bowl holder, I guess. And then do it again a second time and turn it inside out and put it inside the first one. And then sew it together so you can never, ever separate it. And then turn the whole thing inside out. And then sew it together. And then you have a thing that'll hold your noodles, I guess. Some idiot is trying to move her uh, heavy table. 
She's given up and is now eating marshmallows. Me too, bitch. Um, she's put a needle through a ribbon. She's made an elaborate design. Now she's making a harness. So, okay. So you put the ribbon harness on yourself. And then uh, I guess have those like 100 kilogram certified climbing racks and a friend. And now you can just walk away with it. But you could also just have the friend pick it up with you. You dingus. Okay, some idiot's looking for her Pringles. I can't remember if I talked about Pringles this episode or last episode anymore. Um, she's screwing. She made a shelf. Where is the life hack here? The life hack here is make a shelf. She just made a shelf. She put wood glue on the, on, on there, on a dowel. Excuse me. She put wood glue on a dowel to make little holders to make it stay in. And then she put wheels on the bottom and then she put handles on the side. And now you can wheel your little shelf away and hide it next to your fridge. And what is the... The life hack here is get a shelf. You can just get those. You don't need to buy them. You don't need this in your life right now. Okay, she's watering her lawn. It apparently is taking a while. It's Lithuania experiencing a drought. All right, she's put... Oh, this is a bad idea. She's put a hose on top of a oscillating fan. And as the fan oscillates, it blows water everywhere and coats slightly more of the yard, but still some of the yard. So she's still missing a lot of it. And then it cuts to her lying on the ground behind it in the grass, drinking from a McDonald's brand McDonald's drink. Um, and then there's another ad about sea turtles. Normally I wouldn't chill, but like, hey guys, sea turtles are pretty all right. They're called Ocean Cleanup Group and they need your help. Oh, dang. Well, here, maybe I'll... Whatever. Anyway. Oh, they want me to switch my search engine. Oh, well, maybe never mind. I'm drifting again. Excuse me. All right. Someone's pouring some Robitussin by the looks of it into a glass and then they're cutting what this is just a montage of soap ideas. Oh, hallelujah. Lord knows I have so much soap base in my house I need to get rid of. All right. They put soft phosphor into a excuse my dyslexia. They put phosphor into a soap and then it glows in the dark. It sure does. That's what phosphor does. They, they've got a little they've got a little half circle here and they've put a lightning McQueen from cars in there and then they just oh Lord that's a fate worse than death they've sealed this lightning McQueen toy in this orb of soap okay soap base they've got four little plastic cups here full of soap each one has its own color in the three primary colors and also green who's there too. They've cut it in half. They're cutting it into what is that? I guess it's like a gemstone. It's like a crystal. Oh, it's a healing crystal soap. Ooh, woo. isn't that nice? Pour some gelatin and some salt and some soap base and liquid soap. So you already need soap for this and then pour some paint in there. Yeah, I'm sure that's great for your skin. Just paint, guys. And then dump it into one of those silicone ice molds. Let it dry in five minutes, right? Oh, and then it makes a squishy soap. The forbidden fruit snack. They've got 50 of those things. Look at that. You don't need that many. All right, pour some soap base into some shot glasses. I guess you won't need those again. And then pour paint, I guess, into there. That's what they said, paint. And then stir it up a little bit. And then pour it out. Then put it at an angle and pour the next one out. And repeat it until you have a weird block of soap that's a bunch of different colors, different angles. Which is cool, I guess, but how many people need to make soap? I guess it's a hobby thing. 
is the soap business like booming right now? What's the deal? You get an ice cream mold. Pour some soap in there. Yeah, more soap. Dad, Mom, Chloe, and Thomas. They've put popsicle sticks that read those names in these uh, little ice cream soaps, I suppose. And then they've put little bows on them like it's a present, as though I wouldn't slap someone for giving me soap for my birthday. All right, now they're doing a soap cutting video. This isn't a hack. Five clever melt and pour soap ideas. More soap, everyone. All right, they've got a blue bar of soap, and they're just cutting pieces off of it. Yeah, they're just chopping that thing into pieces. And then they've poured soap onto the pieces after immersing them in glass. And then you cut the glass off. And then you have a giant unwieldy block of soap that you can't use. And then they cut some chunks off the top of that. And it's a big obnoxious healing crystal. Isn't that fun? It isn't. I answered the question for you. They've just got a big old block of soap. Like, and also it's soap, guys. It loses its form over time. Anyway, put a soap base in there and microwave it. Dump it into some more ice trays. And then put some coloring in there. Pour some more soap base in. Lose control of your life. Go insane. Eat a whole loaf of bread by yourself in one day. That's quarantine, baby. And then it's those... I think those were ep edited in a manipulative way because they look like galaxies now. Galaxy soap. It's trendy. Hashtag Samsung SG26. All right. They're putting a loofah into a cupcake tray. And then they're just pouring some soap in there. And it looks like a desiccated fruit. How delicious. There's also a rope in there. I didn't mention that. There's some twine. And then uh, they've got 10 of them hanging in their shower. Like you need 10 loofahs and 10 soaps in your shower. Is this what it's like in Europe? Are they just lousy with soap in Estonia? Whatever. They've got some soap. Oh, it's trendy. They made a rose. They wrap some um, petals of soap together to make a big, ugly, stupid looking rose. And then they got one of these circular things that you can trap your Lightning McQueens in. And then they put the rose in there and fill it with soap. So now they have this perfect orb of soap that contains a rose in there that's also soap. All right. They've put bubble wrap in a fudge tray. And then they poured soap in there. Orange soap. And then they poured white soap on top. And then... Once you peel it out, I guess you're supposed to have a beehive. Yeah, it's like honeycomb, I suppose. And then they put it outside to show you, as though soap is a thing that you need to have outside. It's my outdoor soap. My emotional support outside soap. And then that's the video, everyone. That's the whole thing. Let's uh, let's take a look at these comments. Who's here when the coronavirus outbreak had started? That was a month ago. Oh, I've been in quarantine for a month. I'm still not better. I've been to the doctors, but like, cripes. This happens every time I get like a, a virus or something. I'm just out of commission for a, two months. Hey, I'm bored. I'm going to go wipe my hand on a blue ice globe that'll melt now, says Fell Forge. Five minute crafts. Fixing a wall does not take five minutes. Hell yeah, Wolfie Swap, it doesn't. Who's so cheap they can't buy a laundry basket? Wrong buy, but you're correct. It's your nightmare. Lemon Kid says, yeah, I definitely have a bunch of soap base at home. <laughs> Dolphin Penguin says, if you had two people this whole time, why didn't they help in the first place? Yeah, like the hack is not we made a thing that makes it so you can just become a super strongman and lift stuff far beyond mortal uh, mortal ken. The, the 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 hack there was having more than one person to lift it. Thirty five ideas you need in your life. Making walls out of glass. Me, face palm emoji. Two of them. Says Kristen Wingard. How to be a Visco Girl one oh one. 
Whatever. Okay, this is something I was actually curious about. But the marshmallows were allegedly Haribo brand. And maybe Haribo does make marshmallows in some... Oh, I forgot the European countries I mentioned in this episode. I think I said Lithuania and Estonia. Anyway, maybe they make marshmallows over there. But they normally make gummy bears. They're normally known for it. So what's the deal with that? <sighs> this is all this is all bad. This is just hand washing dishes life hack. Buy a dishwasher, says Randall XD. This is This is all dumb. This is about as bad as I could have imagined. And this episode has gone far too long already. Um that's it for this episode. Remember to take a shower. Uh I've been Alfred. Thanks for watching 300 second crap. Bye, I guess.